EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchant here with your outlook for March 26th, 2024. It is Tuesday. The Tuesday video forecast is proudly sponsored by Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated. We're almost a full week now into spring and it's time to start thinking about the outdoors. Let Mark Damiani Painting get your house ready for the outdoor season. How's the deck looking these days? Does it need a pressure wash and staining? What about a fresh coat of paint on those faded shutters and front door? They can help with any exterior painting job that you need this year and they are family owned and operated with over 40 years in business. You can't go wrong with their exceptional attention to detail and great customer service. Servicing the Southeast PA counties of Montgomery, Bucks, and Chester. Call them now to schedule a free estimate at the phone number above me here in the video, 484-571-9233. They are Mark Damiani Painting Incorporated, proud sponsor of the Tuesday video forecast. So today we are going to be uh, a lot more clouds to contend with. It's not going to be raining during the day. Uh, we are expecting mostly cloudy skies, more clouds than sun today. And that's because we have a couple things going on. We have this approaching cold front that's going to affect us on Wednesday. We also have a northeasterly wind flow at the surface that's going to keep it a little cooler. So because that northeasterly wind, uh, if you look at the temperatures above me, the 46 to 53, normally we say it's northwest to southeast. But today is northeastern areas, uh, closest uh, to the cold air source, which is the high pressure up in the north here. Uh, you're going to have the coldest temperatures. So places like Newark and uh, all the way up through northern New Jersey, you're going to have temperatures closer to that 46 degree mark. The farther southwest you go, south and southwest, you'll get temperatures a little bit milder. But uh, still a little bit uh, not quite as mild as yesterday, a couple degrees lower than that. Mostly cloudy today, and then overnight tonight, maybe a spotty shower in a few spots. I wouldn't get too excited about that, but uh, there are, is a chance for you know a stray or isolated shower uh, later in the overnight tonight. But then on Wednesday, the cold front moves through, and there could be some showers with that as it does so. Uh, it doesn't look like a big deal with the uh, rain on Wednesday. It's really going to be the trailing low pressure behind it. There's going to be low pressure forming along this boundary, and it's going to affect, unfortunately, uh, Thursday as well because this frontal boundary is going to be very slow to move and that's because we have some ridging out in the North Atlantic as we get up over by uh, Newfoundland and Nova Scotia in that vicinity that's going to slow this front's advance up a little bit and won't allow it to really move. So along that boundary, here's that low pressure uh, moving up the coast right along that boundary there. And uh, the question is going to be, and it has been for the last couple of days since we uh, first put out an article about that on Sunday, is opening day of Major League Baseball is going to be this uh, this Thursday, okay? And we have afternoon games here in Baltimore, in Philadelphia, and New York. And all three of those spots are uh, under the influence of rain. So because of that, uh, there is a possibility that we could have some delays, maybe even postponements if it if it holds, uh, holds on long enough. But there is an opportunity that this might end early enough to get the games in. So uh, we'll see how that works out. Again, we do um, private consultation for some of these teams, so we'll, you know, we'll, we'll of course be uh, working with them hand in hand. I can't relay specific information about what we discuss with them ahead of time. So whenever they have an official press release, of course, we'll share that. But uh, there has been nothing so far. Here is a look at overnight tonight on the NAM High Res Future Simulator radar, just showing you a few spotty shower, just a stray shower in a few spots, and that's it. And that goes into morning. And then once we get into Wednesday, here's a few showers moving through the region. Again, this isn't a huge deal, but just a few scattered showers are possible in a few areas here on Wednesday afternoon. And it's going to be more so with that low pressure uh, coming in later Wednesday night and then going into Thursday morning. Now, this is the NAM 3 kilometer. has a pretty solid uh, batch of rain here. But again, uh, the Phillies play... Uh, the Phillies play right here, right there where that dot is, okay? Uh, there's Baltimore, and, uh, of course, uh, the uh, the Mets play in Queens. So, I mean, all three of those are under rain at that time. So there's really no escaping it according to the NAM, and it will be raining on Thursday morning. This is looking 8 o'clock in the morning. I have to go over to the 12-kilometer version of the NAM to get the rest of the day. Here is a look, and you can follow the timestamp at the upper right-hand corner as we move this forward. There's 11 a.m. There is 2 p.m., there's 5 p.m. Now, these games are expected to start at 3.05 in Baltimore and Philadelphia with the Orioles and the Phillies. Uh, and then uh, the Mets home game is uh, scheduled to start at 1.05. So is it possible this moves out a little bit fur uh, faster than this? Uh, you know, maybe. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, lesser of a chance here in New York than I would say in Philadelphia or Baltimore. But 
you know, we'll see. Uh, it just depends on the timing. That's how fast and quickly it moves out. Now, if you do look at the European model, uh, European model isn't bringing a whole lot into the Philadelphia area, but this gets it out a little bit faster. So I just don't want to settle on a time frame and say, well, it's not going to happen. Uh, you know, we can't do that here at this range. So timing is going to be critical. That is going to be part of the decisions that they make if there is any decision to be made uh, at that time. GFS is calling, kind of following the uh, NAMS ID here with the rain. And uh, there, too, uh, it leaves early enough maybe that uh, the game could maybe start under delay and that's it and still be played that day uh, any of those games so we'll see uh, how this transpires in the next couple of days but after this if they do end up moving to friday the uh, open date on friday for all three teams they will have uh, mostly sunny and breezy conditions it'll be cooler cooler temperatures on friday but it'll also be breezy it won't be the best conditions to be there but at least it won't be raining it'll be sunny they'll be able to get, get a game and if in fact they go that route and then over the weekend, we're expecting partly cloudy skies both Saturday and Sunday. There is going to be a weak wave moving off to our south along a Barrow Clinic boundary. It looks like it's going to stay far enough to the south on Sunday. Might get a few clouds from that, but uh, other than that, we're not looking at rain in our region here for the most part. We'll watch our southern areas for maybe getting clipped on that on Sunday afternoon, but that's about it. Uh, next chance of rain that is going to be a better chance of rain will come on uh, later in the day on Monday with a mostly cloudy start and then uh, rain moving in. Uh, through the afternoon and overnight on Monday, okay? So that's our chances for rain over the next couple of days. Again, it's not a tremendous amount of rain on Wednesday. The best chance is going to be that late overnight Wednesday night into at least Thursday morning, maybe afternoon. Uh, we'll see how long this lasts because, again, the NAM is trying to suggest it's going to last for, um, you know, through the duration of the afternoon, which might delay the start of some of these games. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see how that works out. But at least we're not dealing with snow, <laughs> that's for sure. And they do have the open date to play with on Friday if they choose to go that route. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Martrich. That is your outlook for March 26th, 2024. Have a great Tuesday.